For the first time in a year, Pennsylvania lawmakers were able to pass a budget on time this past summer, but there are signs we could be in for another drawn-out budget battle next year. Matt Heckel reports. The IFO's recently released economic and budget outlook projects a $1.7 billion deficit for the upcoming fiscal year. Those projections are calculated under a best case scenario, warning lawmakers that it doesn't take into account the possibility of a recession, something most economists believe is more than likely to occur in the next few years. It's um, pretty hard to have a, a deficit that large when the economy is doing very well and revenue uh, is growing uh, quite well at the state level. Um, so really indicating a tough budget year coming up for next year. Nathan Benefield with the Conservative Commonwealth Foundation points to a nearly $3 billion increase in general fund expenditures, including a projected $1.8 billion spending increase in the Department of Human Services. Some of it is because simply uh, last year was a election year, so they just pushed costs, costs off onto the future and, and uh, and didn't really account for them. Benefield notes that the governor ran on not increasing taxes, something he believes the legislature will also be against. But both sides coming together on finding a solution could be a prolonged battle. So I think there's going to be uh, some, some back and forth of, of finding ways to control spending, uh, maybe looking for some additional revenue sources um, uh, to try and keep, keep uh, prevent working families from having to pay higher taxes. In Harrisburg, I'm Matt Heckel, WTAJ News.